Are you feeling overwhelmed by the chaos of daily life? A simple morning and evening routine could be the key to finding the peace and balance that you're craving. In today's video, I'm going to show you how establishing small intentional habits at the start and the end of your day can transform your mindset, lower your stress, and help you to reclaim that sense of calm that we all need. So use this as a starting point to building your own morning and evening routine that makes sense to your lifestyle. Let's go ahead and dive in and build routines that bring lasting peace into your life. For the longest time, I prioritized cleaning my house, getting my morning routines done before I worked on my exercising. And I've went ahead and I've flip-flopped that now. I go ahead and when I wake up, I will go and I will exercise. I will get my hair done. I'll get my makeup on. I'll get dressed. And then I come out here and I start my morning routines. Um, I had to just find a way of being able to fit everything in. And I learned that for myself, I need to do my exercises early. If I do it the opposite, then oftentimes, more likely than not, I am not going to get my exercising done. And that needs to be top priority. So now that I got all that done and out of the way, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to start my coffee. There's just something about coffee in the morning that just gets me going. And yes, it's the caffeine, but I don't know, it's a little more than that. It's the smell of the coffee. It just tells me it's morning time, it's time to get your routines done, and I just love it. I love fresh um, um, coffee, especially when I um, grind it like this. It's just the best. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make me some coffee. Um, I also need to go ahead and take my supplements. I did eat breakfast off camera, obviously, and um, so now I'm ready to also take my supplements. So I'll be doing that, and then we're going to get started on my easy, simple morning routine. Okay, so let's go ahead and empty our dishwasher. Now, having an empty dishwasher during the day invites other people to rinse their dish and stick it into the dishwasher. That way, you are not having a sink full of dishes that you need to take care of before you start dinner. So let's get in here and let's get all these dishes put away. And then um, whatever dishes that I have for my breakfast dishes, those will go into the dishwasher and anything we use during the day goes into the dishwasher and it's not sitting in the sink. Because when you have a sink full of dishes or a counter full of stuff, you really don't want to go in there and make your dinner. You know, so think of it this way. You're saving yourself some money because you're not having to go out to eat because you're so aggravated by the kitchen. <laughs> and I know this happens. I hear it off, often that my kitchen is a mess and I just don't feel like it, I can make a healthy dinner for me and my family. So we just go out and eat. So um, the way to deter from that is to go ahead and, and be sure that you're focusing on your sink. Okay, you want everything out of the sink, you want it into the dishwasher, and in order to do that, you have to have an empty dishwasher. So in the morning, 
you will have um, clean dishes to put away, and at night you will start that dishwasher. So in the morning, you have clean dishes to put away. You see what I'm saying? So, okay, so let's go ahead and get this dishwasher um, unloaded. here, let me introduce myself. My name is Michelle and I started this channel to inspire women to reclaim the peace in their lives by building sensible routines. Now this includes your morning routine, your evening routine, zone cleaning, and the power hour to maintain those deep cleanings. Now I've pivoted my routines over the years to adjust to the chapters of my life. My current chapter is I'm an empty nester, but I'm a very active grandmother to 10 biological grandkids and a blended total of 19 grandkids. I homeschool one of my grandchildren on Mondays and the rest of the week, I am busy with at least two grandkids in my home at any given time. So if you're interested in this type of content, I would love to have you here. Would you please go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. Now this morning, I don't have one of my grandkids, but I am expecting my grand dog to come over here. So my daughter needs to go get some things done and she's going to bring her dog over here while her um, cleaning lady is there. So you're going to get to meet Indigo if you haven't met her yet. Olive, you want to see your sister dog? Come on. Indigo! Hi, baby! All of Grace, come here. Hi, Cozy. Get in here. Get in there. Get in there. All right, bye. In the go. Okay, y'all come in back here and go play. And go play. All of Grace, that's fine. Go play. She's such a sweet addition to our family, and all of Grace absolutely loves her. They love hanging out with each other. Okay, so now we are going to go make our bed, and this is also very important in your morning routine. This is what helps you to feel like you're getting things done. When you walk into your room and your bed's made, you really like to, um, you know, pick the, the clothes up off the floor after that, and I don't know, the bed is like a jumping point in your bedroom um, to get things done. So I love to have a bed that is made every single morning. The best that I can do, am I perfect? No, 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 I'm not perfect. But um, the majority of the time, I do like to have my bed made. So that's what we're doing now. Then we're going to um, finish up in here by getting some other things done that I like to do in my morning routine. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I get my bed made and everything's picked up off the floor, um, all the things. This just makes me feel good when I walk in here and the bed is made. Okay, so now we are going to go into the primary bathroom and let me tell you what I do. In my bathrooms, I swap back and forth. So today I'm working on the primary bathroom and what you see me doing here um, in this bathroom, I will do tomorrow 
in my hall bathroom, which is our guest bathroom. It's where the grandkids go. So I like to keep it nice and clean and um, tidy. I have a lot of grandkids. So you got to be sure that you're cleaning that bathroom um, quite often. So um, this is how I keep up with this. Now, any spots that I see on the mirror, I will clean those spots. You're not seeing me clean the whole mirror. Okay. Um, same thing with the um, sink. If it's dirty, I will clean the sink. If it's not, you don't need to clean the sink. Okay, and then I also take a little wet wipe and I wipe down the um, the countertop, any toothpaste, any smudges. I've got a shiny countertop so you can see everything on there, water spots and stuff. So I like to just go ahead and give it a nice fresh clean with one of the Clorox wipes. I'm not having to pull out a bunch of cleaners here, just cleaning with a wipe and you throw it away. Okay, and then I do a Michael side over there and I'm just making sure that everything is tidy. I'm resetting it to look what it would look like if I, you know, have a nice clean bathroom, okay? So, and the way that I do that is I um, do this in my morning routine. Okay, so now I'm over here on Michael's side and I'm gonna do exactly what I did on my side, but I'm gonna do it over here on Michael's side, okay? And then I'm going to um, swish and swipe the toilet, okay? I do this um, every single day, so one day in here, and then the next day I go into the hall bathroom. So my toilet is getting done every other day. Um, that's just gonna keep everything fresh and clean in here, smelling nice, all the things, okay? And then here in a little bit, I'm going to be launching my robot um, vacuum, and he will come into this bathroom, vacuum up any loose hairs for me doing my hair, and then he'll also be working in the primary bedroom, um, get the carpets all clean. And then I also have another robot vacuum that I have do my living room, my dining room, all that. And I have to have these robots going every single day because I do have the pets. Um, Olive Grace, she's a furry beast. And then, you know, we do have Indigo come over quite often. So I like to be able to keep up with all the fur. And the way that I do it is with my robot vacuums. Now, I did show a robot vacuum a couple of weeks ago on my channel that was um, around $150. It's the one that I use here in my bedroom and in this bathroom. It also has a mopping feature on it. So if you're looking for an affordable one, that's a good one. Um, the other vacuum I have um, is just a little more heavy duty and um, I have that do the rest of the house. So anyways, that's why you see two different vacuums going. Um, and no, you don't have to have a, a vacuum, a robot vacuum, right? Um, it, it's not necessary, but boy, does it save me time in my morning, evening routines and all of that. I'm all about maintaining a space. So once you clean it, finding a way to be able to maintain that clean. And those robot vacuums really help me with that. So if you can afford a robot vacuum, I would highly suggest that you get one, even if it's a, a you know, $150 model, like I showed the other day, um, that one's perfect and would perfectly be able to vacuum my whole house. I would just have to empty the bin um, much more often because it has a smaller bin in it. So anyways, um, robot vacuum to the rescue. Okay, so I've pulled the towels out of the dryer. I've got um, all different kinds of towels in here. Anything that's white is in here. I think I even have socks in here. So um, I've got all my whites in here, um, especially the towels, the kitchen towels, and some of my husband's socks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these fo um, folded. Now, if you notice, a lot of my cleaning has to do with maintaining um, what has already been cleaned or maintaining my home. And that's what I highly suggest um, that you do is that you start with a good morning routine and then you maintain that, okay? So you're gonna maintain your sink, being sure that it stays um, um, empty, that everything is in your dishwasher, that you're emptying the dishwasher, um, that you're making your bed, that you're cleaning your bathrooms, um, that way you're maintaining the clean and you're not letting things get really, really bad. Um, that's when things um, get out of hand and it's hard to take care of because it's just been stacking up and then you just have so much everywhere to get done and it's just so overwhelming. So if you can maintain these spaces, that is the best way to go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So now I've essentially just reset my bathroom to look the way that um, I like it to look and what um, I feel comfortable in. Um, and this is simply just by maintaining these spaces. Now we've got the bathroom done, we've got the bedroom done, we've got the kitchens done. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to empty the robot vacuums. These are from yesterday. I'm going to empty and you can see this one is considerably smaller. The little bin is considerably smaller. That's why I don't have it do. Um, the rest of the house or I would be emptying that quite often um, and then the larger one um, that's what does the rest of the house but I'm going to go ahead and um, just empty this get it all nice fresh ready so that way I can launch um, these puppies and they can take care of my floors um, now puppies so to speak you know because all that dog fur <laughs> No pun intended, but you know what I mean. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get them ready, and then we're going to launch those. But I will be pulling out my stick vacuum to do um, the rug that you just saw, this one right here, because um, everything sticks to this, and it's very difficult for those robot vacuums to um, pull enough fur out of this and my grandkids come over and they sit on this ground and they play with their toys and all of that so I like to give this an extra dose of vacuuming so that way it is nice and um, fresh for when the grandkids come I'm not worried about fur getting all over them I do have a couple of grandkids that are highly allergic to my cat not my dog but my cat so um, I make sure that you know the floors are clean just in case if any of the cat fur is down there so, all right, let's get the floors done. Okay, he's done here in the bedroom and look at those nice straight lines. Oh, do I love me some straight lines. <laughs> and the living room's all done. Um, Indigo's laying on my pillow there. I just let her go ahead and have that and everything is done. And now I'm back in the kitchen and I'm working on my dinner. So this is my night routine, okay? We are working on dinner. You saw me pull out um, salmon for in the morning. I like to pull out whatever I'm gonna be making that night. I pull it out and I set it out so that it can thaw. And um, now I'm going to be making our dinner. We are going to have salmon. We're going to have some um, potatoes with some onions and um, green beans. And um, I love to have a nice clean kitchen to work in. Um, you know, like I said before, if it's not clean, nobody wants to be working in there along, you know, with a bunch of stuff in there or with a sink full of dishes and all of that. So, as you can see, your morning routine um, helps your future self in your evening routine. And then my evening routine is going to help my future self tomorrow morning. So you're just working to help yourself um, for your morning and your night and your morning and your night. You see what I'm saying? So, um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this into the oven, get it cooked up, and we're going to um, have a nice dinner, and then I will start the cleanup.
Have you seen one of these handy dandy um, can openers? I do have it going on fast here, so it's going a lot faster than what it normally does. But I like this because it cuts the lid from underneath. So there's no sharp edges. When I go to throw this can into the trash can, there's no risk of anybody cutting their hand by pushing down on the the you know the top of the trash and you try to push it down so you can get more trash in there. Well, I had a friend that severely cut her hand doing that. And this right here helps so that you do not have that sharp edge anymore. It's just a nice blunt edge. Um, anyways, I will link um, that one if you're interested in a can opener like that. It's also good for people like myself who has um, rheumatoid arthritis and sometimes my hands um, feel too weak to be able to, um, you know, use a hand can opener. Or, And then those other ones, the electric ones, those things get dirty. I have to pull it out all the time and stick it, you know, on the counter and all that. So I really don't like those ones. I did have a hand one, but that one no longer works for me in my hands. So this one that I just showed you is perfect and um, it runs on batteries. It's easy to clean all the things. dinner's done. We invited my mother-in-law over and we sat down and had a nice um, dinner together. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean off the um, stovetop. I'm going to wet a nice um, microfiber cloth. These are my favorite microfiber cloths. I will link those down below for you too. Um, it, they just pick up so much. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down everything and, um, you know, frying those potatoes gets stuff everywhere so I'm just going to quickly clean this up if you do not let your your stovetop get too bad it's very easy and simple to get cleaned up you can use a little bit of a degreaser like the methods um, degreaser and um, just quickly go over it and everything will shine right back up it's when things are allowed to set and it just builds up and builds up and builds up it's going to take you a long time to get those things done so Try to maintain it, um, you know, at, in your night routine, and then that way you're not dealing with all the buildup. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed the coffee pot from this morning. I'm going to get that put into the dishwasher, plus all the dishes that I did, um, that I made um, tonight. And again, the dishwasher is already full um, with my morning dishes and then our afternoon dishes. So I'm just going to go ahead and just continue filling it and then I can start it. And let me give you a fun little tip here that I like to do, um, not all the time, but I do like to do it occasionally is I will have my um, um, dishwasher on a delayed schedule. So it will go um, around four o'clock in the morning, it will start. So by the time that I'm having my coffee, the heat cycle has already happened and my coffee cup will be nice and hot. So that's just a little thing if you wanna treat yourself um, in the morning with a nice hot cup um, to put your coffee in, that's always fun. So anyways, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean out my sink. Cleaning your sink is very important in your night routine, okay? It feels good to have that nice shiny sink. It just tells yourself that um, your night is over, okay? It also tells your family, oh, mom just cleaned the sink. You know, let's let's keep it clean. It should tell your family that, okay? Sometimes you have to press it into them. Up, oh, kitchen's um, closed. <laughs> I've already cleaned the sink. Everything's done in there. Kitchen's closed. Stay out. Sometimes you have to be a little forceful like that. But, um, you know, the majority of the people are not getting up in the middle of the night and having a big dinner or having <laughs> a big snack um, and leaving dishes in the sink, Um if they are, then your delayed um, schedule on your um, dishwasher is imperative. So that way they can get it rinsed and put in there and reset so that it starts um, four in the morning when you want it to. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now that I got the dishes, the stove top done, and the sink done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my, my Method Daily Wood Cleaner, and I'm gonna clean off the, um, the table here in the dining room. This is where we ate today, and I wanna go ahead and just get this nice and clean and ready and fresh for tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out my everyday spray that I use here to clean um, my kitchen counters. This is Methods um, spray. It's the green one, I can't remember what it's called, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the counters, and I'm gonna give everything a good wipe. And um, this just shines up this granite, makes it look nice and um, pretty. And um, it just feels good to have nice um, clean counters. So I just give everything a, a good wipe down and then um, we will go on to the next step, which is going to be cleaning a hot spot. So if you have a hot spot in your house, we all do, where things get left, maybe it's the kids' backpacks, maybe it's a pile of shoes, ours is the mail, my husband brings it home, sticks it on the edge of the counter. And the thing is, is that we don't get the mail, but like maybe once a week. So it's a lot of stuff that we end up bringing in, boxes, things like that. Maybe you have Amazon boxes, I have that too. Right there by my front door, Amazon boxes that need to be broken down. That would be considered a hot spot. Okay, so you're going to um, go to your hotspot and you're going to take care of that hotspot um, for about five minutes. I call it a five minute hotspot. Okay, so for about five minutes, I'm going to take care of this hotspot. Um, if you're taking care of it every single day, there's not going to be a whole lot to do because you're taking care of it every single day. So anyways, um, um, I'm going to do here right here with the mail. I'm going to shred what needs to be shred. I'm going to open or set by my husband's um, desk the things that he needs to look at. And then we're going to head on into the bathroom. And these are the clothes that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. So I suggest you do yourself a little favor. Go ahead and lay out your clothes for tomorrow. Okay, that way you're not scrambling around looking for your stuff. All right, I do the same thing with my workout clothes. When I see those workout clothes sitting there, I know I need to get up and get things done, right? Including my shoes. I put my shoes right there. It's like, girl, you are not missing this. You're going to exercise. Then I shut down my home for the night. I close up the blinds. I get everything ready for the night. I get myself ready, do my night routine, do my skin care all the things, and then I go and enjoy some TV with my husband. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, would you please give me a big thumbs up? And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you'll click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. I will see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed, my friends.